Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be working on my 1997 Honda Civic EK hatch, also known as the Biohazard Civic. Look at this. Look at all this. There's stuff growing on it. And if you haven't seen the previous video on this car, I'd really recommend checking it out and I'll make sure to leave a link above. So where we left off is I was just about to fire up the car and I'll cut to the clip right now. <laughs> now after finding out that this car actually runs and drives it's not 100 percent perfect but it's very very positive sign that the car runs now it needs me to kind of go through things and the first thing that i want to pay some attention to is the interior now as you know this was listed at the auctions as a biohazard and with good reason and i believe it has to do with the fact that the window was maybe rolled down after this car got stolen of course because it's an old honda now i'm gonna try my best to keep this one in my possession because i did pay with my hard-earned money with it i'm gonna take the preventative measures to put the steering lock and do a kill switch as well as put a gps tracker in it beyond just what the air tag is I, I have some other stuff that i'm also going to do but i made the executive decision to actually not be the one that's going to do the detail on the inside because i'm at a point where i've gone down this path before i actually had a teal civic ej1 coupe that was an EX model, that thing was a cream puff. I went through the struggle and I spent like eight hours cleaning out the inside because it was a very similar situation where there was mold in the interior. And I just don't think it's really worth my time anymore. So I found somebody that will do this for around 200 bucks. So it should be pretty easy. They put it back together, they clean it up, make it look nice and it saves me and it gives me time back, you know? So I don't have to really worry about it too much. What, what I am gonna do though, is I'm gonna get rid of all this garbage that's in the inside in the back seats and all that so that just to help them out and uh not to discourage anybody you know if you're really trying to do this stuff on a budget then for sure but you get to a point where you just realize that time is very valuable and i think that maybe since i'm growing up a little bit more i don't really want to put up with the headache and i'm okay with uh you know having somebody clean up my car for me and stuff like that i told him to leave the exterior alone so I will do the outside myself and uh, I can even make some content on that if you guys would like to see. Because the outside is not too bad, but it's just the inside that needs a lot of attention. And then on top of that, the brake fluid is very low. So when I pop open the hood, let's take a look here. So the brake fluid is very low. So I brought some good old dot three I'm gonna throw in there. That's not a biggie. Down here, I see that there's a bunch of bolts. Why is that? Who knows, man, who knows? Is there, isn't there like a bracket or something that goes up here? Maybe one of you Honda enthusiasts can let me know down in the comments. But for the majority of that, my next plan is I want to just clean this out. I have the appointment. I'm going to take it there. And then next, I have to take this car to a vehicle VIN inspection. So when you buy a vehicle from a vehicle auction and it needs to be reinstated as drivable again, you have to take the car through VIN inspection. So in this case, since it was uh, a car that essentially just needed a key, there's no real like body damage or anything like that. I uh, really don't have much to present to them except for the fact that I did buy a key. But what they're going to do is they're going to go through uh, the hood if it closes, the doors if it closes and all that. And again, maybe I can make another video on that if you guys are interested. I just need to make sure that it will get there successfully by next week. Hopefully it doesn't have any major mechanical issues. I have not driven it out yet. So I'm holding off on that because I think it will be best to at least change the oil, make sure it has good fluids in it, and just kind of comb through the little things. And then I also noticed too that the idle, it kind of fluctuates. It's, it kind of goes, oh, oh, oh. And that's very common with these 90s Hondas. And the good news is it's a relatively easy fix. It's something called the idle air control valve. So the idle air control valve is actually located on the back of the intake manifold. So if you remove this air box, it should be pretty well exposed and you can just take some brake parts cleaner and then you clean that out because typically what happens is carbon deposit gets in there. It's, it's a whole mess, but you can tell this was like sitting underneath a tree somewhere because there's all sorts of little bits of this stuff. But besides that, mechanically, it sounds very good. Not perfect, but very good. Let me uh, set the camera down. I'm gonna start taking all this nasty stuff off and put a mask on because my God, this thing is literally a biohazard. Safety first, really, especially you buy something like this. You don't want to risk it, man. It's, it's not worth it. So if you woke up today and today wasn't the best day, if you have health, you have wealth. 
Remember that. All right, guys, I just cleaned out the interior for the most part. I found some very interesting things. This time around, I didn't find any needles, but I was very careful not to put my hand underneath here. So what I found is I found these uh, wire cutters that were like clipped off at the ends. Oh, here they are. Does anybody know why somebody would do this to a pair of wire cutters? Is it just for crimping stuff? What is this all about? This is a very sketchy tool though, I will say. So the thieves, 100%, they did something there. And then I found lots of little shards of broken glass. And then these trays, I don't know what these trays are all about, but they're, as you can see, they're full of glass. Very strange, I have no idea what that's all about. But it's amazing the difference just with taking all that garbage out of here. So the interior looks half decent. But like I said, I'm gonna keep the windows down let it air out and uh, I'm gonna take this one to get professionally cleaned. This is so crazy. So I drove the car back and I was making this really weird hissing noise and I was like, oh God, it's gonna die. So I popped open the gas cap and I noticed that somebody stole the gas cap. My God, look at how disgusting it's in there. <laughs> but dude, I ran upstairs and I forgot I had a box of extra parts from the black Civic. And would you, would you believe it if I told you? Just, look at, look at. If this actually works, this is fate. There's no way. There's absolutely, there's no way, bro. What? <laughs> All right, we're taking a look underneath. Oil's draining. It looks like it's been leaking a little bit. But I also noticed that they replaced the oil train plug. And I looked at all the bits of the suspension and they look to be in excellent shape. Axles are good, which is usually a very common place these fail, especially if they're not OEM. But yeah, man, it looks pretty good underneath here, except for over there, I see a little bit of uh, something. I just really hope that's not the rear main seal because that is what seals the engine to the transmission. Not too bad, man. Not bad at all. All right, I brake cleaned all underneath. Nice and clean. Look at that oil pan. Flawless. Flawless, man. <laughs> this thing's a peach. You already know if, if you're a fan of the channel, you already know I, I rock with this stuff. Any high mileage, old car been sitting for a while, low compression. You might as well just spend the 10 bucks, throw this in there, including the kitchen sink. See what you get. All right, I'm gonna give this the full tastefully clapped experience when it comes to the car wash. I got the good old kitchen sponge with all my little wash mitts and stuff. I'm gonna use Griot's Garage Super Concentrated Wash as well as Chemical Guys's Tough Mudder. I'm really hoping it gets all this nasty stuff off of it, but I'm at least gonna just give it my best shot. I feel like there's five other bazillion videos on how to wash your car. I don't really think it's necessary for me to go through all that. What I'm also gonna use too is Chemical Guys' Decon. So this is like an iron remover and I've used this on wheels and it does an excellent job. But this is gonna be my first time using it on paint. I double checked and it looks like it's safe on paint so I'm just gonna spray away down on this bumper, for example, cause it's pretty nasty. Let's see if it does anything. I guess we'll have to wait and see. It doesn't need that deep of a scrub watch. I'm just using a kitchen sponge, really gingerly just going over it. There's a little bit of tree sap on the roof, but look at that, look at the difference. See that? Look, look at all that nastiness coming off. I did this side of the hood, look at the hood. I've only done one pass on the hood. Amazing, bro, amazing. Not bad, man, not bad. Oh my God. It's not perfect. I think it needs a couple more washes if you really want it to be super duper perfect. But man, from what it was before, it made a huge difference. 
So of course what I'll do is I'll go through the paint and I'll try and remove more of the contaminants. I have some stuff to get rid of the sap and I'm gonna clay the car, but I think I'm gonna wait until the VIN inspection to really detail this and make it look really nice. Uh, obviously you can see all the little, uh, little pine needles. I just didn't wanna spray that all over the ground and have to clean it up. So I think what I'll do is I'll go to my local car wash and just use their pressure washer and I'll blast that off really quick. But this is just to give you an idea of what the car would look like all cleaned up. I am missing the hubcap on the other side, which is really a shame, but I think I found one on eBay, it's identical for 20 bucks. Now I'm kind of going back and forth on this one because the engine is in such good condition that it's almost a shame to use this one as a, a swap donor. But I think that was kind of like my initial thoughts when I first bought this thing. So this would be a really awesome car to build and do a little K swap in. So I'm gonna have to think about it, but it's in really great shape. It has a little bit of an exhaust leak coming down from the headers. I need to take off the heat shield to further investigate that. But I mean, you, you see this, you see the sides? I can see the reflection. No door dings or anything like that. It's, I'm genuinely shocked. This is the same car. Oh my goodness. So we're making some good progress here. I think we're also gonna spend some time on this one headlight that's faded for whatever reason. I'm sure this one was replaced at one point in time. So it'd be nice to get those to be symmetrical. The hood's a little ugly. There's nothing much you can do there. It's pretty dug in there. I guess you could get some body filler, spray this. Yeah, save that for another day. But I hope you guys have a great day. And I really appreciate you guys stopping by to watch. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.